your mindset is <laughs> <laughs> a little outside of my normal approach, but I really want you to get your attention here. And I challenge you to watch this video to the end because this is going to be one of the most important things that you have watched in months. Let's talk about your mindset. I am noticing a trend of a super toxic mindset trait that is going around in the real estate industry, especially to my powerful ladies out there who want to go out and crush it in real estate, but are falling victim to this pattern of toxic thinking that is so unnecessary. And here's why. In my program, The Market Authority Academy, two stories came up that I have to share with you because I feel like they are going to be so well resonating with where you might be in this place. The first one is a real estate agent who came to me and said, you know, Stephanie, I recognize that it's so important to be asking my past clients for referrals. And I know they love me. They gave me amazing reviews and they were super happy with my service and they still interact with me on Instagram all the time. But I have this limiting belief that if I go straight to them and ask them for a referral, I'm actually gonna find out that they secretly hate me and that they would never refer me and then I'm going to be super embarrassed and feel terrible. So I always overcomplicate actually going and asking for the referral. And I said, you have to stop it. Here's how we fix that. You have to dumb it down and keep it simple. And in fact, if you really wanna put yourself out there and overcome this limiting belief, do it in a big way. I actually bet her, I don't know if she's gonna do it, but I said, go ahead and post a reel and title it POV. I'm a realtor who is dying to ask my clients for, for their referrals, but I'm afraid that they secretly hate me. And then go ahead and take it a step further and send it to her clients just to instigate a conversation and be prepared for people to prove you wrong. That's the advice that I gave to this agent because ultimately when we are holding them ourselves back with these limiting beliefs, we are getting in our own way. We are overcomplicating what needs to happen and keeping us from being successful. And this is so important because I see so many real estate agents who are absolutely amazing at what they do. They care about people. They know their craft inside and out and their systems are dialed in. But because they're getting in their own way, overcomplicating things and not making the ask themselves, they lose business that they should have earned to other agents who do not provide the level of service that they do. And so by getting in their own way, they're not only keeping themselves playing small, but they're harming their clients who they care so much about in the process. Think about that. Here's another example on the same coaching call that we had that came up. One of my agents absolutely needs to be working on growing her database. She's a newer real estate agent and like me, she didn't have a ton of connections coming into the business. And so I recommended to her what I did as a newer agent, which was to grow a professional database. And I gave her the checklist and all the steps to make it happen. And I said, well, first, what you really want to do is make sure that you are finding these people. This is how you're going to do it. You're going to reach out to them and just network with them and see if you can strike up a referral relationship. And she said, well, Stephanie, I might be overthinking it. <laughs> and she said, when I'm actually having this conversation with these professionals, how do I ask them if they would refer me without like asking them if they would refer me as if it's supposed to be a secret? And I said, you just ask them. Like, why would you not just come out and ask them what you need? If you're not asking people for the help that you need, they don't know how to help you. And so I said, listen, here's what you need to do. You have the conversation with this individual. Let's say you're having coffee. They're another professional who has a similar network of ideal clients who you would love to tap into, who you know you can help in a huge way. And you know that they provide a service that your clients would love. There's a natural connection to make here. And so here's what you say. Listen, I have loved to hearing about the services that you provide, I think that you'd be a perfect fit for a lot of my clients who need the type of service that you offer. Would you be willing to take on some of the referrals from my clients that I might pass your way and give them an amazing experience? Of course, they're going to say yes, because what professional is going to say no to referrals, right? And then you want to do, okay, great. I'm so glad you're going to be open to those referrals. Would I be someone that you're willing to refer to your clients should the need arise? They should say yes at this point. You have already set up the conversation and you've determined that you two would do well to working together and now you're just putting a name on it. Would you be willing to refer me to your clients should the need arise? If they say yes, then you say, that's great. 
I knew we were going to be a great fit. Can I share with you a little bit about what happens after that referral occurs so that you can help your clients be prepared for what is going to happen once they get involved? They're going to say, sure, break it down. And then you can walk through what happens when that connection is made so that they can tell their clients how amazing you are going to be from the very first interaction. You just call it out. You keep it simple. You get straight to the point. If you are overcomplicating these incredibly crucial aspects of your real estate business, you are never going to get out of whatever rut you might find yourself in. And so here's my call to action for you. Are you holding yourself back? Think back to the last couple of interactions that you've had in your business or the way that you are currently marketing your real estate business. If you are overcomplicating things, if you are playing small, and if you are not being clear on how people need to help you grow your business, then you are the problem and you need to get out of your own way and keep it simple. If you need a swift kick in the pants to get it done, I can be that person for you. We do this all the time in the Market Authority Academy. You can actually find the details to apply to the Market Authority Academy, my signature coaching program, and work directly with me as you overcome these very common hurdles that a lot of real estate agents struggle with but are very easily fixed with the right approach. And I just happen to have the right approach. I'd love to help learn more about your business and show you how I can help you overcome whatever challenges it is you're facing, especially if it's this mindset challenge that we're talking about today. And if you are looking for another quick fix for your follow-up specifically, I've got that video for you here. I just posted it last week and it is going to help you know exactly how to get direct and action oriented with your follow-up to see immediate success with the leads that you're generating. Thanks so much as always for tuning in and until next time, keep on crushing it.